Okay, folks, this is the uh, short video that I'll be doing regarding the clothing that I'll be wearing. Uh, just the clothing that I'll be wearing. There's other stuff that I'll be carrying inside my backpack. But I figured I would do a short video to kind of give you an idea of what I'll be wearing on the trip here, especially to start off with. This is basically the cover-all method uh, to try to prevent uh, sunburn and things along the night like this. Uh, this is everything from the hat all the way down to the pants here. It's got a UPF rating of 50. And I'll just kind of go through basically what I have. This is an outdoor research uh, full brim hat. It said UPF 50. Uh, I bought that when I went out to California in 2010. I worked great uh, in the Sierras, so hopefully that will continue to uh, serve its purpose. I've got a pair of uh, sunglasses here. They're polarized sunglasses. Not sure exactly. Uh, they're preppers, I guess is the name of it. Bought them from REI. I got them for free with my dividend, so they weren't anything special. Just made sure they were polarized. Uh, cover my eyes. And then I've got a white bandana. Uh, that is going to go in conjunction with the hat and the um, collar on the shirt there to protect my ears as well as the neck there. I'll kind of just put it under my hat when things get too intense. Uh, Columbia Silver Red shirt. Um, that is a also a UPF 50 shirt. That is going to uh, be in conjunction with another shirt that I actually wear uh, this is a synthetic titanium brand shirt. I wear that on a lot of my weekend uh, hikes as well as I wore that exact shirt on my Appalachian Trail through hike attempt in 2012 all the way through Pennsylvania. So uh, that's been around for quite a while. Uh, moving down to the sun gloves. These are outdoor research sun gloves. They also have a UPF rating of 50. Um, I was it was recommended by a uh, previous through hiker that I get something along those lines to protect my hands. Um, that way I don't have to worry about lathering up, which I <laughs> admittedly forget to do quite often. And with using trucking poles and keeping your hands out in front of you, that is uh, something that uh, was highly recommended to keep myself from burning. Uh, the Silver Ridge pants below that, um, also made by Columbia, convertible pants. Uh, UPF rating of 50 as well. Uh, comes with a belt. And uh, really nothing else to say about that. And then the Dirty Girl Gators. First time that I've ever tried anything like this. They uh, were another recommended piece of gear to get uh, to keep these stones out of my shoes. So I figured I would give them a go ahead and see uh, how well they worked. Everybody that I know that has used those in the PCT uh, raves about them. Below that I have my uh, La Sportiva Wildcat uh, Trail Runners. These things I have been using exclusively since 2010, and I cannot say anything bad about the shoes. They are great shoes. Um, obviously, you're going to want to find something that meets the contours of your feet, but I have flat feet, and these shoes have done well over the course of the time. Um, and then I've got two different uh, uh, variations of the socks. Um, I do wear the darn tough socks. They are great socks. They last forever. Um, unfortunately, I have very, very sensitive feet. And they are a little bit more abrasive. So uh, I'll be using those in conjunction with the socks that I always wear. And those are the uh, right sock, lightweight double layer socks. They basically are a sock with a liner sock built in. And I use those exclusively on the Appalachian Trail in 2012 and all my other hikes since then. Uh, great, hi uh, great hiking socks. Uh, keep me pretty much blister free for the most part with the exception of the normal hot spots that I get. But the only problem with, this, with these is that they wear out relatively quickly. On the AT, I was going through a pair almost every two weeks. So I'm going to kind of go back and forth between the two. When I start getting hot spots and uh, darn tough, so I'll switch over to the double layers and back and forth, and we'll see how that works out. But that should kind of give you an idea of what I'll be using on my upcoming through-hike attempt at the PCT. Hope this helps you guys out in your planning, and I uh, said so just uh, something that I'm going to give a shot and try, and uh, we'll see how things can go from there. Until next time, guys.